All right, um, now I'm at the uh, Coquill River Lighthouse, just outside of the uh, little town of uh, Bandon, Oregon. And uh, probably just a couple hours after being at the, uh, at the uh, Cape Blanco Lighthouse, and uh, where it's completely socked in. But I tell you though, with that, uh, that being socked in like it was, the moment as I'm driving off of the Cape, which wasn't, I think it was like six miles off the main road, but as I'm driving off of the Cape there, I mean, I drove out of that uh, out of that fog, and it's been uh, beautiful sunny ever, ever since. Which, uh, which you know, I guess maybe that fog stuff like that again is just uh, typical, you know, for uh, Oceanside like that. And it, it made for a neat experience too. It was uh, just kind of cool being up in there, just all socked in like that. But uh, anyhow, so yeah, got the uh, Coquill River Lighthouse uh, behind me here. Uh, the town of uh, Bandon is back over there. Yeah, you can kind of see it way back there, but uh, probably can't make it out. But it's back there. It's where I was a little bit ago. And uh, let me turn this around. See where the uh, Coquill River comes out, meets the ocean. And I tell you, it is so windy over here. I'm being being sprayed with sand. This wind is kicking. And there's a warning sign too about going out on that jetty about you know waves coming up at any time you know something like that um maybe the high winds and all but uh so that's the jetty and the pacific ocean man oh i'm just being belted right now but it is beautiful out here Beautiful everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna shut this down and get back to Zeke and uh, right on. I'm I'm being blasted. The side of my face is just being blasted. I got my right eye shut, so it doesn't get full of sand. Actually, I think it's, it's got sand in it. But uh, just wanted to show you all this. Uh, north along the coast. Oh, something too. I, um, but no, you know what? That's enough for now. That's all I got. Mm. Well, you know, I guess I was going to say about, uh, about the weather though. Turn that around. Uh, yesterday was the first day and probably since Idaho Falls or before that I haven't wore, I had to wear long john bottoms. And actually, I was walking around when I took that hike yesterday just with a uh, t-shirt on and my riding pants. And I was totally comfortable. It was a little warm. So, um, but it's cooler today. You know, with all this wind, the temperature's, you know, probably pretty decent. I'm going to say maybe probably upper 60s, lower 70s. But again, this wind uh, uh, definitely makes it cooler. And that fall, you know, as I already said, that fall really made it cold. There are some serious waves coming in up there, right there at the mouth of this uh, of the river here. There's some serious waves coming back this way. And on the other side of the jetty here, there's some pretty decent waves. I can only imagine like the rip currents and all that that's uh, out in that. Definitely, uh, and you don't see anybody swimming. I guess it's just, you know, too cold. Air temperature's cold, you know, for one thing. Uh, but again, I'm sure this water temperature is brutal without a wetsuit. I'm sure there's guys that surf and all that. But it's uh, beautiful to look at either way.